Placing programs are used to stack and order the placement of parts on a conveyor or stacking area that allows the program to follow a specific pattern. To create a placing program, you must be in the text editor, select the part program setup, and from the drop-down, select placing program. There are 16 placing programs available per robot program. To create a new placing program, select New. Choose which axes will be used within the placing program. If all three, leave them checked. If X is not required, uncheck the X axes, and the placing program will exist only for the Y and Z axes. In this example, we're going to use all three axes. The placing program then opens the box to allow you to teach the first position of the first part in all three axes. What is the location of the X, Y, and Z axes coordinates to place the first part? You can also name the placing program here or leave it as placing program 001. Currently, the robot is sitting above the placing location and the X position and the Z position of 120.1 X and 525.0 Z is where the first part should be taught. The Y axis, selecting using the checkbox and moving the Y axis to its first place position for the first part in this placing program. At this point, you do not want to click the OK button. You want to select the second tab. The second tab allows you to teach the relative distance between where the first part is placed in the placing program and where the second or end part is. The difference between the second and end position can be taken from the drop down. If you teach the relative distance between the first and second position and then put in the number of parts, it will measure the distance that it traveled from where you placed the first part in the first tab, where you're moving it relative to the distance of that first position, and the total number of parts, those parts will be kept apart the equivalent distance. If you teach the end position, then you measure out the distance from the first part to the last part that is required and then put the total number of parts and it will incrementally move each position every time it drops the part the same distance. Keeping the gap constant allows you to add a number of parts to the placing program during editing and having the gap distance kept the same. In this example, we're going to teach the relative distance between the first and end position. So we're going to select the X axis and we're going to move it the distance required from where the first part was placed to the second position in the X axis. And the total number of parts in the X axis will be two. By selecting the part number box, we can input from the keypad the total number of parts being placed in the X axis. Next, we'll move to the Z axis, select it by using the checkbox, and we'll move it either in the positive or negative direction relative from where the first part was placed. Then put the number of parts in the Z axis that will be placed in the placing program. Last will be the distance that the Y axis moves up from where the first part was placed to the second position part, or the end position. In this case, we're going to have 
a layer of four two times high, so the end position and the second position would essentially be the same. In other cases, the end position should be measured out from where the first part needs to be to the last part, and then you input the total number of parts. So we'll move the y-axis negative, a specific distance. And we add the number of parts as shown. Next, you go to the Options tab. Do not select OK yet. In the Options tab, it always defaults to a box height. If you're not placing into a box, you uncheck this. If you are placing into a box, you must input the value or the height of that box so the robot knows a height clearance that it must clear prior to going into the placing program. If the box is not being used, uncheck the box height and just answer the order that you want the axes to move to the placing program via and the placing order. In this case, the axis order I want it to move in is XZY, as well as the placing order being XZY. This means that it will place the first part and the second part in the X axis, then the Z, and at last the Y. So a layer of four will be placed in the X and Z axes, and the second layer will be repeated in the Y the distance above the first part to the second part. At this point, select OK. And if we did everything correctly, our math would prove out that we are placing two parts in the X times two parts in the Z. So one layer is four parts total. We have two layers in the Y axis. So two times four is eight. So our placing program is correct. To input the placing program at the time you want it to execute, make sure your cursor is in the proper location. Go to the stacking icon and select from the drop down the placing program that you would like to use. We can also attach a counter from a counter list choosing parts on conveyor. This counter will attach itself to the placing program and increase or increment its value based on the placing program. I can then use this counter to activate or index the conveyor or react to other scenarios. Once you say OK, the placing program is now in its position. To test the placing program, you can step the robot to its positions prior to the placing program once everything is transferred. With the robot in the position above the first location, you can step and restep the placing program to see it go through its positions for each drop location within the placing.